What's up guys, Eber here with Hurricane X, and coverage from Acer at CES 2017 was mostly focused on their absolutely insane $9,000 Extreme Notebook, but we went to them in search of something else, something much more affordable for real world applications. This is the upcoming VX15 Notebook, and like the Dell Inspiron 7000 Gaming we already looked at, it is a notebook with gaming DNA, yet it can also function as a very portable school or home office laptop. But before we get into this, a quick shout out from our sponsors. This show coverage is possible thanks to NVIDIA, Gigabyte, Fantex, and NCIX. The similarities between the VX15 and Inspiron Gaming are quite evident, not only within each of their chassis, but also what lies under the hood. As a matter of fact, both have been made possible due to NVIDIA's introduction of their highly versatile GTX 1050 and GTX 1050 Ti into the mobile space. Acer was extremely straightforward with their thoughts about these new GPUs. Not only do they provide awesome performance relative to their cost, but that performance is delivered with extremely high efficiency. Hence, notebook manufacturers are able to maximize other components without going over budget or over their TDP spec. Like Dell's offering, the 15-inch VX15 from Acer will start at $800, and its baseline configuration is very much similar to its competitor, but there are some differences. Expected to come with a KB Lake i5 7300HQ processor, and an IPS screen rather than a TN panel on the Inspiron. In addition, Acer has added a very welcome USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 3 port, uh, which is something else that Dell's competitors lacks, even though this one runs at Gen 1 speed, so be mindful of that. The other specifications are quite similar too. Uh, there's 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 MHz memory, a 128 gigabyte SSD as a primary OS drive, and a one terabyte hard drive for storage. A GTX 1050 4GB will come standard, and the GTX 1050 Ti will of course be available for about $100 premium if you want that extra bit of performance. Uh, ticking all of the option boxes will run this notebook's price to about $1100, which is actually still very affordable given its capabilities. What really surprised me was how great Acer's chassis looks and feels. The predominantly black color scheme and soft touch interior not only gives a higher end look to the VX15, but it also rejects fingerprints quite well. The red backlit keyboard isn't something that will ever replace a fully mechanical variant, but typing on it seemed to be more responsive than the Inspiron. I'm also giving kudos to Acer for adding highlighted WAS keys, and that's a nice touch. Even though it's technically 1.1 inches thick, uh, its gently sloping lines and well-designed integrated hinge makes the VX15 feel quite a bit thinner than it really is. Uh, in addition, I noticed that it was subjectively quite a bit lighter than the Dell, so portability should be a lot better. Unfortunately, there's no 14-inch version planned for the time being, but it is actively being looked into. We're all really excited to get our hands on this one. Now onto the big notebook. Yeah, I know, this is it. But no Acer coverage from CES 2017 would be complete without a quick look at the Predator 21X. It is completely over the top, it costs a small fortune of $9,000, and it looks ridiculous, but you have to respect Acer for going on out of limb and creating something like this. The intent was only to make a few hundred, but given the positive response they received from their retail partners at the show, Acer may actually decide to increase production. You see, a lot of retailers see this as a perfect marketing opportunity within their stores, and I have to agree with their assessment. Just look at it. Within the massive chassis lies an overclocked i7-7820HQ processor, 64GB of DDR4 2666MHz memory, two 512GB NVMe PCI SSDs, two GTX 1080 cards in SLI, five fans, six copper heat pipes backed up by an extensive heatsink array, and two subwoofers. The more visible components are probably more noteworthy than what's going inside the Predator 21X. There's the first 21-inch curved 120Hz IPS panel ever installed on a notebook, support for G-Sync, and also Tobii eye tracking. Meanwhile, the keyboard uses true Cherry MX brown mechanical switches and features a uniquely designed trackpad slash numpad combo that can be flipped over depending on the functionality you need. Acer may not sell a lot of these, but it was the talk of the show, believe me. So, there you have it. Two notebooks at completely different ends of the spectrum. Our coverage at CES 2017 isn't over yet either, so stay tuned for more. I'm Ebo with Howard Canucks. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.